What's up guys, Harris here, and today we're taking a look at Spigen's Neo Hybrid case for the Nexus 6. As far as I can tell, the Neo Hybrid is their most popular case style, and for good reasons. The dual layer design provides not only a good feeling in the hand with the contrasted plastic border and the TPU matte finish on the back, but also adds a bit of style with all of the color combinations that are available. Putting on this case isn't as simple as some other cases, but you do have to work it around the device until it fits on properly. And once it's on, it does feel pretty sturdy around the edges, which is an underrated feature in cases. You also get a slim lay on the table design, certainly not for tables and small drops, but I don't know how much protection it'll provide in the long run or for bigger drops. On the top and bottom, there are appropriate cutouts for both the charging port and headphone jack, and I haven't run into any issues with those, and they both look good. On the right side, there are three buttons for the power and volume up and down. The buttons are chrome finish, which look really nice and are incredibly easy to press, but they do feel rather cheap and unstable, contrary to what I normally expect from Spigen, but they're not something that would prevent me from buying this case. On the back, there's a simple embossed Spigen logo that is glossy, along with a mic cutout. And up top, we have the Moto dimple and the camera cutout, both of which work perfectly, and I like that Spigen did leave the dimple open. Now the biggest thing that I don't like about this case would be its bulk added. Personally, I'm one for thinner cases with less protection, but I think I'd trade off great looks and protection for this bulkier case, which is what Spigen is thinking too. It's not ridiculous or OtterBox level, but it certainly is noticeable in the amount of bulk it adds. So the Spigen Neo Hybrid is certainly a great case if you're looking to add style and some protection to your phone. Throw on a screen protector and I think you're good to go. You can check out the link in the description if you want to check out the pricing and availability along with all of the colors and if you guys want to know any more about this feel free to leave a comment as I definitely have enjoyed using this case. It feels nice in the hand with the smooth texture on the back, doesn't get too many fingerprints or oils and overall it's just a pretty nice case. So I hope you guys did enjoy this simple review and if you did feel free to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.